Hi, John here. I just want to show you my my cupping today. Oh, nothing here. It was just the needles on my back. There. If you can see. And up there, along here. Needles. And you can see where I've been scratching on, on my back with the... Uh, I've got a barbecue scratcher here. Look. This is the best, best for scratching. Then it works. And she said, oh, water coming out of your back. So Maggie is fixing my problem up with all the stresses are gone. And I had a stomach ache, well, not so much a stomach ache today, on uh, Friday of today. It's the 7th of July, 2017. And I said, oh, maybe you can fix, fix my uh, stomach, it's um, uh, getting fat. It's, I've put weight on, 5 kgs I've got to get rid of, and 90.4 kgs now. And I want to go down to 85. Um, so it's going to take a bit of work to get that off. But what she has done is relieved all the stresses right through my body, and tomorrow I'm going to push, I'm going to show you on the video with the GoPro, me pushing four, oh, 200 kgs with my legs. And you can see my legs are um, bright red all the way through where the blood's going zinging around. And my Fitbit is sitting at 60, 66 now. See? 66. You see? So that's right down. That's without the medication. I haven't even taken my medication because I don't want it. It's not fixing me up. They're just patching me up. This is fixing me up. Because before long, my heart's going to be that strong and pushed to the limits. And then I'm going to lift. I'm going to push 200 kgs on my legs. That's four big, um, five big 20 kgs on this side and five 20 big kgs on this side and push my legs and you watch I'll do that a hundred times hmm this is after cupping all this going on and then I'm going to lift 40 kgs a hundred times in 20 minutes or less just to show you how strong I am after the needles and all this going on with my back and right on the bottom right on the bottom that's at my age, 68. I feel like I'm 20. See? And my hair's growing. My hair is growing. She says, oh, your hair's growing. And it looks all right. You know what? The cupping did that because all those toxins, those black stuff from all those statins in this medication. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you what's killing me. This stuff. Look. There. That stuff, that's what they're killing me with. Right? It's still in the packet. I get three lots of that going nowhere. You know where it goes? In the rubbish. It works, but it takes over your life. It takes over your body. And it dictates how you have to go back. And they say, oh, put a stent in. They say, oh, it's blocked in here and I'll put a stent in. When they put a stent in, you still got to take them. Because that's what my nurse said. I'm just proving to the doctors who are ignorant of other means of natural um, nat natural ways to fix medical problems. And this one won't go away because she's only taking out not much blood, just just a few little holes to put in and they're, and they're not sore and just enough. But those Chinese, I have a look on YouTube, they're pulling out heaps of it and you can hold a piece of like a liver, this is your blood in your head, blocking everything up, in your hand, and you can put it in the frying pan and fry it up. It's like a, a solid piece of meat that's coming out of my head. You can see in the, in the cup on the video, you can see the cup, it's got, she's pushed the thing to the side, like liver, and you can see the blood and the water on top of the blood. That's come out of here. That's only in one little place, and then on the back. You see? 
So now I've just come out from the needles and they're not sore, they're only little ones. The only one that's really hard is in your foot, in the in the base of your foot. That one you can you can feel that one, but hey, it's better than what I'm going through with all this shit. And this nighttime one and this daytime one. You see? I just showed you my Fitbit is sixty six. You see? And that's normal. See? But with the, with this medication it's going down to forty two. That's just about stopped. Oh my heart is is pretty good. And it's just about slow down to a stop at night. With that shit. So uh, that's what I'm saying. Since she's done my cupping, that's over uh, about 15 weeks now. And I've felt, never felt so good in all my life. Just coming back from there. I can sleep properly. And I had a bit of a grumbling stomach, but nothing major. And she fixed it. It's gone. See, I know what that's from. Overweight. And eating too much. Pork. See, I'm eating my pork. Roast. Uh, I better show you. See, my, my pork. I'm going through the last bit of it. I might, I might, uh, you might get hungry. Uh, and so, I've um, been eating extra food without doing the exercise. I'm doing my work. See? So, uh, I just want to show you how, how uh, I keep my brain active. Anybody standing in front of me when I'm active like this, look out because I've got all my documents in the right places. And with the Freemasons watching what I do, better watch out you people. They're watching me, watching you. Okay, so uh, well, I'll go back and uh, upload some more videos. The GoPro is really, really powerful. Um, it's, it takes eight videos in one shot and over 200, 300 um, still clips, um, photos in short shots all the way through. So if you were videoing and pushing the camera around like this, it will pick up all the photos around and make photos and videos at the same time. So that's why it uses the whole lot of 30 gigs, gigabytes up on a film if you use the whole um, um, one film uh, for, for capturing a, an event. That's what my daughter was using for, events. So she can capture everybody's face and split them out into separate photos. And they come out, every photo comes out clear from the GoPro. That's a Hero 4 model. Uh, pretty good. Um, so, um, all I'm saying is that I've um, got a big job pulling all the videos out, pulling all the photos out, and then uploading them, uh, um, compress them, and then put them on YouTube because they're too big. About four gigabytes uh, uh, a film. Uh, and then um, put it on Facebook. Uh, those are my evidence. In any court hearing, you won't get away with anything with those videos. Every video has its own story for capturing anybody who's causing fraud on these lands. If your name comes up on these videos, you're in trouble. You're in trouble because I'm accusing you of fraud. And that goes with Waitangi, Titi Morai, and what's going on up there. If your name is on my my list, you're in trouble. You're in trouble because the Freemasons and the Moriori Manukau title is controlling all these lands and right through the world from that title. And that's what I'm in charge of, that. Okay, that's all. I'll get on with it and upload some more stories. If I had to join them all up, it's going to take a long, long time. But all the books I've got, I've bound up myself and typed them out myself. Nobody else has given me a hand with those. Okay, so there's no one involved in the way I write and the way I'm presenting. All my court hearings are in pictures. You can't escape a picture and a video. It gets you right on the spot instead of words and UCC laws and all that crap. It's out the window. It's out the window. It's you 
and me, your word against my word. That's how this law works. The my law is your law, your word against my word, and my truth, teach the truth. Okay, that's how it works. Kingy, Taurua, that's not your surname, that's not your surname. That's, that's Taurua's in, in Kaipara, and I'm very happy with you using their name. What for? To screw them, and Moi Manika, and me. I'm left with all that on my head, Kingy, and you haven't got a damn thing in writing to put in any court or anywhere to claim the land that you say it belongs to you. It doesn't belong to you, Kingy. You're in Edwards, and that's the end of that. Don't you steal another surname or pick any other chief, because I know those families own that name, not you. You're a bloody white Edwards, dressed up as a black something else. If it's not Toto, it's somebody else's name you're picking on. So don't fool me or Moai, Kingy. I've had enough of you on this video. I've had enough of your bullshit in front of everybody at Waitangi and saying this and saying that and saying the, the police are not going to stop you because they're just as crooked as you too. And Charles Hirschfeld, the lawyer you're going to see in Auckland. You tell him he's a bastard crook. And he won't answer the phone for me. He won't answer my letter. I left at his home. I know where his home is. The Freemasons will be very interested in him. You, Charles Herschel. They'll come after you. They'll come after all you people who have crooked the Manukau title to this country. And the Pacific Islands. And the Cook Islands. Okay? Kid me not. They're watching you, watching me, watching you. Hmm? This is your lot, Kingy, your, your, your Queen Elizabeth, Queen Victoria, and your bastard King Edward. You got no flag, Kingy. Just don't use that flag. Because you said that's your two pointers, Faka Minia, Faka Putin. It's not yours, Kingy. Not yours. It belongs to those paramount chiefs that I've chosen. Nobody else. Because they can't talk like this. They can't talk like this. And you're calling yourself a king? You talk for your own king, King. Don't talk about King William. Because you're never bothered to support me and Mohi Manukau and this flag in Britain. And you don't want to know about Britain. You know what they're going to do with you, Kingy? They're going to put you behind bars with those crooks you've got you're working with in the Iwi Maori. That's making, you're making it look like you're the good one. No, no. You've been with them all along. That's why the police won't arrest you. All the things you're doing, right? Abuse and all that. I've been supporting you right to this point that I've had enough of you. I've had enough. You haven't got anything to stack up against me, myself, and the Wanoa name, against the Edwards name, Kingy. Nothing. Those are my carvings in that Waitangi Marae. I've got every right to go in there and boot you out off the flippin' land. Okay? Because I've got the Ututonga title. You've got nothing. You've you, you got really got nothing in writing or anything. That's what I'm saying on this video. Right in front of the whole world. Because I can stand here and talk like a king. And you're trying to talk over somebody else's king. And saying... That's your Tupuna flag. Kingy, you can go and jump back in the sea with your Edwards and go back to England. Right? That's what I'm saying. I'm pissed off at you. And your fucking ship. That's what's that's why Maoris can't get anywhere. It's you and your fake Iwi Maori tribe. That's yours. That's your ancestors put that together. The pirates from Australia, New South Wales. Hmm? I'm not afraid to say that, Kingy. I'm strong enough to whack anybody over. Right now, I feel like kicking somebody with my legs after pushing 200 kgs with them. That's like somebody's head. I've got to squash somebody's head. They get in the road before the three masons come and take them out. I'll take them out with my feet hmm? and my... Hmm. Not afraid. 
if anything, if, if anybody thinks I'm going to take this shit and die, you can go to hell. Because I'm going to let my body fix itself up with that little China girl. Hmm? She's doing alright. Okay, that's all. See you later.